Hey everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads. It's really late at night and if you watch my weekly vlogs then you will know what time it is. It's 11pm. I decided out of the blue to film this video. Not the anniversary of my channel. The past two years I've done it on my anniversary. I did it for my first video and then I did it for my year anniversary. I'm not in the mental state to be planning videos and stuff like that so I just thought something really easy I was gonna say quick this is definitely not quick something really easy for me to do would be my bookshelf tour. It's going to be going into every single aspect of every single thing on my show. I'm just going to tell you what book it is, who it's by. Also I have a lot of gadgets and gizmos. I'm not going to go into any story about them, I'm just going to say what they are. So the first shelf is the shelf where I have a lot of my fantasy books and dystopia I guess. I don't really know. None of my shelves have a theme. First up I have this little Mockingjay pin, it's Harry Potter plaque. It is a little bit broken up here in the corner but I mean what can I do? It's a Harry Potter plaque. And the last non-book item on my shelf is this little Tara Croft Funko Pop. Time for books. We have The Hunger Games, Ching Fire and Mockingjay by Susan Collins, Anna Dressed in Blood and The Girl of Nightmares by Ken Dare Blake, The Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them all by J.K. Rowling, The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, Legend, Prodigy and Champion by Marie Lu, Hush Hush, Silence and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. My next shelf is the one that holds all of my middle grade books, I guess. All of them, I'm not actually too sure. If so first up we have the little gizmos, a Rick Funko Pop and a Daryl Funko Pop. I also have this Walking Dead glass with Daryl on it as well. And also this really cute charm bracelet of Percy Jackson, it's just got Percy Jackson things on it. Now on to books, The Lost Hero. The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, and House of Hades by Rick Rawdon, The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, The Last Olympian, and The Greek Heroes, all also by Rick Rawdon, Birth of a Killer, Ocean of Blood, Palace of the Damned, Brothers to the Death, Cirque du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, Tunnels of Blood, Vampire Mountain, Arrows of Death, The Vampire Prince, Hunters of the Dusk, Allies of the Night, Killers of the Dawn, Lake of Souls, Lord of the Shadows, Sons of Destiny, another copy of Trials of Death and these are all by Darren Chan. The Race for Poldovia by James Rochford. The next shelf is just kind of miscellaneous books that look good together. Like I said, there's nothing really specific about any of my shelves. The only two gadgets I have on this shelf is this yellow fidget spinner and a little memory stick that has a little bow on it. Time for books. We have All the Crooked Saints, Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater, Coraline, and The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, I Am Number Four, Power of Six, and The Rise of Nine by Pitticus Law, The Kill Order, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure, all by James Dashner, Ink by Alice Broadway, The Iron Witch by Karen Mahoney, Surrender by Sonia Hartnett, Nemesis by Brandon Reich, On the Other Side by Carrie Hope. Fletcher, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Awakened, and The Fledgling Handbook, all by PC and Kristen Cass. This next shelf is my Cassandra Clare shelf and it also has my light box on it, obviously. The first gadget slash gizmo I have is this little, what do they call it, goblet with all of my light box letters in it. And then we have my light box itself, which I change for every video I make. And the last gadget slash gizmo thing on my shelf is this clockwork angel necklace that I have hanging over my clockwork books. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Bones again, City of Ashes again, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, all by Cassandra Clare. Again, the next shelf is just really miscellaneous. I don't know, even know why I keep trying to explain what they are, because even I don't know. The only two gadgety type gizmos I have on this shelf are two little skull jars. This one is literally just a skull ornament, and this one used to be a police male's perfume. This book loves you by PewDiePie. Shiver, Linger, Forever, and Lament by Maggie Stiefvater. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Ingo by Helen Dunmore. Wings by April in Pike. Kindred Spirits by Rimba Rao. The True Blood series by Charlene Harris. I'm not getting these out of the box. They're a pain in the ass to get back in. Zenith by Sasha Arlsberg and Lindsay Cummings. 
Angel Fall by Susan E, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush, Shatter Me by Tara Murphy, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Imagine Fallen by Lauren Kate, Passion and Rapture by Lauren Kate. I do also have Fallen, I don't have the second book, Tia is currently borrowing the first book. Next shelf has a lot of contemporary and also a few fantasy books. Gadgets and Gizmos, I have two more per police perfume bottles, I just really like having these apparently. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, The Hate List by Jennifer Brown, Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows both by Lee Bardugo, The Method by Shannon Kirk, Evermore, Blue Moon, and Shadowland by Alison Noel, A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludecki, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia, Looking for Alaska, and a different copy of Looking for Alaska, Big Towns, The Fault in Our Stars, Let It Snow, An Abundance of Catherines, and More Grace and More Grace in, all by John Green and a few other authors for a few specific books, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Numbers by Rachel Ward, History is All You Left Me, They Both Die at the End, both by Adam Silvera, The Selection, The Elite, and The One by Kira Cass, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Susan Collins. Boy Meets Boy by David Levison. This next shelf is supposed to be a Twilight shelf, but it's kind of just got the host on there as well. The only gadget I have on this is a little cat, um, little ornament thing with a red bow and a heart. I thought it was cute. Life and Death, The Illustrated Guide to Twilight, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. Twilight, The Director's Notebook by, what's her name? Catherine Hardwick. This is the only exception to the Stephanie Meyer Shelf, Twilight, New Moon, Clips, Breaking Dawn, Twilight White Edition, New Moon White Edition, Clips White Edition, the four Twilight Journals in Swedish, and the four Twilight Journals in English in their own little box. The Host Movie Edition and The Host, all by Stephanie Meyer. This next shelf is kind of dedicated to Disney retellings and then I've obviously put Throne of Glass in with my Sarah J Maas books. A Stitch iPhone case, Boss Philippe, Amy and Cogsworth, and Mrs. Potts Chip and the little dog stool thing. We have a Belle and Chip Funko Pop figure, two Stitch cut out things. I am eventually going to put these on my wall. Hidden behind a book we have a money box. This isn't to like have a hiding place for it, it's just because it's ugly. It just says Coca-Cola on it. I don't like it so I just put it behind. Disney Enchanted Tales, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, A Whole New World and As Old As Time by Liz Braswell, Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of Mist and Fury, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire all by Sarah J Maas, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Wouldn't this be with Cinder? That would make sense, but it's not because one's white and one's black. The next shelf is my Veronica Roth shelf and I also keep my bookmarks on this shelf. So first I have the Slytherin mug that keeps every single bookmark I own in it. As you can see I have quite a lot. I may do a bookmark collection tour thing soon. And then I also have this pin art thing that I'm really scared is gonna like break. Do you know how long this takes me to put together? So I'm gonna put it back. We have the Divergent Trilogy plus the novella 4 and also a little leaflet of World of Divergent. I'm not going to take these ones out because they are really hard to get back in. But you can see them anyway because Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, 4 and Carve the Mark all by Veronica Roth. This is another miscellaneous shelf and just don't even bother asking because I don't know. The only miscellaneous item I have on the shelf is this little Bill Pot painted thing I did when I was like five years old. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. The Last Hope by Oscar Pollock or Kendra and Wolf, I'm not entirely sure. The Book of You by Claire Kendall. Shutter by Courtney Alameda. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. The Martian by Andy Weir. Highlight by Sophie Jordan. Life by Neil Schusterman. Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Fifty Shades of Grey by C.T. Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades Freed and Grey all by E.L. James. Bear to You by Sylvia Day. Silken Bonds. Puppet Touch. Wicked Ways. The Wild Silk all by Zara Devereaux. This next shelf mainly consists of my white books and then some random books I didn't know where to put. There are no mysterious objects on this shelf so let's get straight into the books. One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Code Name Verity by Elizabeth Wine. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. Red Queen 
and King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard, Evercross, Everlasting, Dark Secrets, Dark Secrets 2, Dark Secrets 3 all by Elizabeth Chandler, Prison Study, Fire Study, Storm Glass and Sea Glass all by Maria B. Snyder, The Blue Lady by Eleanor Hawken, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril and The End by Lemony Snicket, Fire Spell, and Hexbound by Chloe Neal. This next shelf is just full of DVDs, anything from Disney, movies that I watched as a child, musicals, and then my fandom movies, and then a few like horror movies. Then you get my Sims games. And this next shelf is just where I keep all of my children's books. I'm not going to get all of these out just because there's a lot of them and I just can't be bothered. Have all my Winnie the Pooh random stuff. This next shelf and the last shelf I'm going to go through with you is just the random miscellaneous books that I have left over that I really just don't know what to do with. The only thing on this shelf that's miscellaneous wise is this little paperweight. My great great grandma's. She passed it down to her granddaughter, which is my grandma, and my grandma passed it down to me. I don't know, it just has a lot of history in it, and I really like it, actually. It's so pretty. It kind of looks like a clownfish. First, we have the Lord of the Rings series and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm not getting these out again, they're just a pain in the ass to get back in. Then we have this baby names book that I use to help me with picking names for my stories and also my sims. The Orchid Book of Poems, chosen by Adrian Mitchell. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Celia by Catherine Robinson. Pink Death by Cornelia Funk, The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, The Hawksweed Prophecy by Irina Brignall, The Evolution of Maya Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Baby Doll by Holly Overton, Shadows on the Moon by Zoe Marriott, Hashtag Trending by me and a few others from a group called First Story, The BFG by Roald Dahl, Believing by Tara Alta Brando, Of My Sin Men by John Steinbeck, Iron King by Julie Kagawa, Angel Dust by Sarah Muzzy, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, The Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, Before I Die by Jenny Downham, and Marley and Me by John Grogan. This next shelf is just empty, kind of sad, but it will be being filled at some point in time. Then we are down to my bottom shelves, which for the most part are empty. First bottom shelf, I just put my cat litter and stuff on just to keep it out of the way. Next shelf is full of books and stuff like notebooks, I've got tarot card books, touch pads, stuff like that. I'm not getting them out, there's just a lot of them. And then this last shelf would usually be empty, but right now I have a lot of books that I am taking down to the charity shop. These are all being unhauled, so if you see any that you want me to keep, then give it a shout out. So 50 minutes later, here we are, a completed bookshelf tour. 